And so everyone according to his cue. What hempen homespuns have we swaggering here so near the cradle of the fairy queen? What? A play to ward? I'll be an auditor. An actor too, perhaps, if I see cause. Speak, Pyramus. Tis me, stand forth. Tis me. The flowers of Odia save us, sweet. Odorous. Odorous? <laughs> Odorous, save us, sweet. So hath thy breath, thy dearest, this be dear. But hark, a voice. <laughs> Stay thou but here a while, and by and by I will to thee appear. <laughs> a stranger, Pyramus, an airplane here. Must I speak now? Aye, oh, marry, must you? <laughs> For you must understand, he goes but to see a noise that he heard, and it is to come again. Or most radiant Pyramus. Oh, most radiant Pyramus. <laughs> or most radiant Pyramus. Most radiant Pyramus. <laughs> Sit there. <laughs> most radiant Pyramus. Or most lily white of you. Or of colour like the red rose or triumphant briar. Or most brisky ju Most brisky ju Jew, juvenile, most whiskey juvenile, or an eat most lovely Jew, or as true as truest horse, but yet would never tire, or I'll meet thee, Pyramus, at Lily's tomb. Nilus, oh man! <laughs> Why, you must not speak that yet. That you answer to Pyramus. Do you speak all your part at once, cues and all? <laughs> there, Pyramus, enter. Your cue is past. It is never tire! As true as true as stores, but yet would never tire. If I was there, <laughs> On cuckoo grey, whose note for many a man must mark and dares not answer nay. 